So Jeffrey Olo comes from comes up from San Diego, and talks up obviously share a whole lot more. But I was very interested in having Jeff here because um, they are using drones for a lot of different industrial and commercial uses, including solar panel inspections. Um, they're using it for GIS information for. Uh, Ortho mosaics, photogrammetry, that type of stuff as well. Um, and what we're going to find by the end of the day, between everybody who's talking, is that these skills are skills that can be transferred into many, many different sectors. So, you know, Lorraine had a huge task just now to put all that information into a short period of time. It's a big challenge because the tools that they're offering through ESRI and a lot of these other softwares that we're going to learn about can be used by a a lot of those different jobs that I showed in a lot of the 14 sectors, probably nine of them, can be using that software and doing these types of things. So as soon as Jeff gets this up, I watch he's working on the tech stuff. <clears throat> Hello everybody, my name's Jeff Riolo, as I mentioned, and while we're getting a short PowerPoint up, I did print out the slides of my PowerPoint and put them on your table so you'd have something to either make notes or or take home with you as a little handout. And the only thing really of value on there probably is the last slide, which has resources. And I swear that Lorraine and I did not coordinate, but you'll see that the end goal is to get the you're on the map. So. Our uh, company, Empower UAV UAS, is a California corporation. We started in 2014. We started operational in 2015 under a Section 333 approval prior to Part 107. Uh, my career is uh, primarily has been as an educator. I teach community college classes at San Diego Mesa. I have for about 18 years. They only let me teach one class. It's business law because I have a law degree, but my undergraduate's in physical education. <coughs> So, uh, uh, so it's a little bit of a dichotomy. Uh, we started our drone company with interns, seven interns out of my uh, community college class. One of them is my lead pilot still. Another one does our accounting. One of them does the marketing. They've all graduated. The pilot is gonna make a, a six-figure income this year. So uh, there's real workplace, workforce opportunity coming along with the, uh, the drones and it's happening in real time. And I think the community colleges are at the heart of it. We do a lot of different things. Why? Because we've had to survive over the years because in the embassy stages, it was really difficult to get work. Well, the tide is somewhat tipped or turned because the regulatory process has gotten to where now larger businesses feel comfortable with awarding contracts. And immediately there's been a shortage of qualified pilots. We contract for measure. We contract for precision off. We con we're a strategic partner with Cape. Cape's the IPP provider for live streaming, telemarketing, for a law enforcement fire. We have San Diego Gas and Electric using it. We're integrating it into the Port of Long Beach. Uh, we like the organization where we can come along and help them integrate drones into their entire footprint. So we help them develop their flight operation manual, their forms, their procedures. I wasn't in the aviation industry until five years ago, but if you're going to be in the drone business, you're an aviator. You need to be a safe aviator. Aviator has the platform uh, to start your uh, your organization. So, in the slides that uh, we're going to see here in just a second, so one of the uh, first questions, and the reason why I think I'm going first is because I like to look at things from the fifty thousand view, get an overview, and then see how my role or my part plays into that. So in that 50,000 uh, view, the first thing I question is, why would you want to get into the drone business as, as a career? And uh, the answer to me is because we're solidly out of the information age and we are knee deep into the robotic age, whether we recognize it or not. So robotics, artificial intelligence, there are jobs that are gonna be created here in the next few years that education is just trying to keep up with at this point. I can say that as an educator. So uh, it's happening and it's happening every day. I say a year in the, or actually a month in the drone business is like a dog year. Uh, if you just blink, it's like there's a whole new world out there and you've missed it. So uh, so as we go through this, and if you want to just, uh, does the clicker work? Or yes. All right. Hey, thank you so much. And which, all right, career opportunities in drones, do what you love or uh, do what pays best. I've always been like Lorraine. I, uh, I believe you do what you love and the money will follow. My ex-wife said, if it pays enough, you have to learn to love it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the key word there is X. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why not both? Yeah. Well, when I found this, if you're going to make money and do what you love, you need to be an expert at it. And that doesn't happen every day. So my three tips to community college students is be bold enough to get out and get into the trenches and get your hands dirty. And then the second thing, be smart enough to hook up into the academic world and learn the reasons why you're doing it. Because the ultimate is to find a mentor that can help you through a very steep learning curve. And it is very steep and it changes every day. My two cents is always fly legal, always fly safe. That's not easy. When I see drone video of a drone flying over a highway, the first thing I think is, do they have a waiver to fly over that uh, roadway? Because that's illegal. Well, so we always are conscious. So in the uh, evaluation, the first question after, do you really want to be in the business, is, well, what part does drone, do drones pay in your business? Are they an ancillary part or are they essential? Now, if I'm a, la a land surveyor, drones really are ancillary, right? What I'm going to talk about here in just a second isn't anything revolutionary. As a drone company, we're just a market displacement. We're displacing manned uh, aviators who do ortho uh, mosaic stitching. That's all we're doing, right? We're replacing somebody else that's already done it. But as you people that are in the drone industry know, I can go out and create enough data to keep several analysts busy for weeks. As a cinematographer, I can go out and capture enough data to create a week worth of editing. So, at the Port of Long Beach, we were initially brought in by land survey. The two pilots we trained there initially haven't done a map in a year. Why? Because they're doing site surveys for construction, they're doing emergency management uh, uh, preparedness, they're helping security, they're doing marketing. Yeah, as soon as everybody knew the capability of UAS, they wanted to put in work orders and the work orders don't relate to survey. So survey is a very easy place to integrate because, again, it's already adapted. And I say, well, why not do both, right? Why don't you capture it and use it? Well, the reason is, is because when you look at it, the first thing you have to be, in my opinion, is an expert if you're going to fly the drone. You're a pilot. You have responsibilities. You need to be safe in the air. You need to operate under Part 107. You need to use your common sense. You need to draw from Part 61 manned aviation to make sure you know airspace, you understand property rights, you avoid privacy nuisance issues, you have a proper flight plan, you know how to aviate, navigate, and communicate. Then there's another second area, which is totally uh, uh, a whole other area, but there's the aircraft, the sensors, the hardware, the software, be an expert on the technology. So now not only do I have to be an expert on aviation as a pilot, I gotta be an expert on technology. Those are two different things, and they're very difficult. But if you can do them, the third thing brings all the money. Can you integrate and problem solve? Because if you can do that, you're the most valuable person because where we're going is to deliver data, process to produce actionable items in near real time. And I say near real time because if your processing is, is it really real time? And uh, Esri will say, yes, because our software anticipates it and tells you when you need it, right? And that's where we're going with artificial intelligence. So uh, I'm just kind of blowing through this real quick to make sure I stay on time. This is an example of a map we made a year ago for a, a developer, and the initial call was, can you, uh, can you produce a map that's accurate within one foot with property lines, contour lines, uh, I want my perk test on it, I want the uh, pad on it, and I want it exported to my civil engineer on CAD. So we produced this form, but let me just say, we don't make maps, land surveyors make maps. We just take images, and you're only as good on your drone map as your surveyor. And typically, the surveyor is only as good as the tools he's using. In this particular one, we were able to get to accuracy within one-tenth of a foot, RSME. RSME, if you don't know, combines the X, Y, and the Z. Z is usually the hardest one to, to nail down. And if you have questions on how to do that, I can give you some tips on uh, how to place your ground control for. So this is a little bit uh, closer look up, and you guys that are in the uh, land survey, you understand the, the vernacular there. And uh, <clears throat> my last point is uh, just resources. So get out and practice. You don't have to have a real advanced uh, aircraft to do this. A Mavic will work, a Phantom, and try maps made easier drone deploy. Those are the two easier ones, in my opinion, to start out with. But as a professional, you really need to know PIX4D 
And as I mentioned, where you really want to go with this is drone to map. As I enter into an organization that wants to integrate drones, the faster I get to the IT guy or gal and the risk manager, the faster it's going to go. Because it's all about mitigating risk, managing, producing, and controlling the data. Okay, so we have an intern to employment program. As I mentioned, we hire pilots out of the community college program. I'm a big advocate of community college. I went to Grossmont. I teach at Mesa. Shoot, my father never graduated from high school, and through the community college system, I have a kid at Harvard. So that's what can happen through the community college system. So thank you very much.